Hello. In this video, let's look at a explain feature that allows users to control and influence the quality of insights generated. The explain menu has a settings option that allows users to focus on only those columns that are of value and interest in their data set. Here's my sample orders data. Let me right click and explain profit metric. First, I see basic facts about profit. Here I see what's the distribution of profit in my overall data set. As I scroll down, I see how profit varies by several attributes in my data set. So profit by city, state, postal code, country, continent, lat long, so quite a few geographical columns. And as I scroll down, I also see profit by a couple of date columns. If I go to key drivers, it shows me that these seven columns, including lat long, are strongly correlated with profit. In segments tab, I see some segments involving profit and a few attributes. Now I notice that I have the settings option available across all the tabs in Explain. Let me open this. In the settings pane, there are two distinct sections. First is the column section that defines the list of columns participating in the underlying algorithms that generate the insights across all of my Explain tabs, which is my basic facts, key drivers, segments. So in this case, as I'm explaining the profit metric, these are the columns from my data set that are considered to arrive at basic facts about profit. Or these are the columns considered to identify the key drivers of my profit and so on. Now the next section, the segments, segmentation settings, is only used by the segments algorithm. And they allow you to define how many columns to use while deriving your segments and the segment size. Now let's look at the column section. When I expand this folder, I see that the system has identified a few default columns for me and generated insights across all the three tabs based on these default column selection. Now how did the algorithm pick these columns? Couple of ways. If you have auto insights enabled on your dataset, then the system does a smart selection of the most interesting columns as the default columns in the settings. If you don't have auto insights enabled on your data set, then the first few columns are selected by default. Now let me override the default selection. So I only want to keep city and country. So let me uncheck the other columns here. I don't want lat long. Let me include a metric called number of orders. Let me remove ship date and apply. Now my column selection is applied and all the visits are recomputed for the profit metric, but in the context of the columns that I just selected. So I don't see state, postal code, or lat long columns anymore. When I go to key drivers, uh, my column selection is automatically applied to this tab as well. And I no longer see lat long columns or order date as drivers here. Same with segments. So the selections I make in the settings panel carry across all the tabs in explain. So these are the segments identified with my own column selection. Let me open the settings again and change segmentation from two to three columns. Let me bring in ship date instead of order date and apply. Now the visits in all the three tabs will take ship date instead of order date. Now here, if I scroll down, I will see some segments with ship date in their criteria. So with the settings option applying to all my tabs in explain, I'm now able to send only the columns of interest to the underlying explain algorithm and hence get better results. I also benefit from an overall performance gain as the process only generates visits for a subset of columns by default and not the entire data set. Thanks for watching this video.